I have the Samsung Galaxy S24 and I'll be showing you how to set up Live Translate on this phone. Now I'll be using the S24 Ultra but this works on all the Galaxy S24s. So Live Translate is basically a feature that allows you to make a phone call or receive a phone call uh, from someone or to someone speaking a different language from the one you speak. And then as you speak, your phone automatically translates the language, either your language to the other person's language or that other person's language to your language. And it's supposed to work seamlessly very, very well on the phone. So to set this up, simply go to settings. First of all, let's go back to the main settings page so I can clearly show you how it's done. So let's go to settings and under settings, you have advanced features. You can tap on that. And then you should see advanced intelligence and then tap on phone. Now, this is the live translate setup page. Now, the first thing you have to do is enable that feature. Okay. Now, with the feature enabled, you can now play around with the settings. First, you need language packs. Now, since the translation is happening on the phone, you have to download the language pack you intend to use prior to trying to use this feature. So for instance, of course, you have your language by default, like for instance, I speak English and that's why English is there by default. Okay. Now, if I intend to use another language like German, for instance, if I want to call someone who speaks German or I expect a call for, from someone who speaks German, I'll have to go ahead and download that language pack and you can download as many language packs as you want. You can also tap on edit if you want to delete any previously downloaded language packs. So you can just select and delete, but I'll just allow these ones to download for now. So now with the language packs downloaded and installed, you can now go back. Let's just go back to the that setting page. So we can now go back to advanced features it keeps taking us into the uh, management settings page so you might have to go back to advanced features every now and then okay so we're back here we have language packs downloaded and then the next thing you want to do is check out the sections so you have two sections this section is under me and this other section is under other person Okay, so you have yourself and the other person you intend to talk to. Now here, since I speak English, I'll choose uh, my language as English. And then I can also choose my voice. So for instance, the language or rather the voice that will be used to translate my language in case the other person doesn't hear English, you can choose a voice. Okay. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. So you have that voice. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. Or that voice. And you can also increase or reduce the speech rate. The next thing you want to do is choose whether you want to mute your voice or not. Now, when you use live translate, the person on the other side of the call will hear me talk in my language, which is English. And then if, for instance, that language is being translated to translated to Chinese, they'll after that hear it in Chinese. Now this can be a bit confusing and you might hear more than one thing at the same time and it might get all confusing. So you have the option to mute your voice. So as I speak, the phone will mute my own voice and then it's only going to play the translated voice to the person on the other end of the call. Okay, so you have this option. You can either mute your voice or just leave it there and have chaos. And then you have the same settings for the other person. You have to choose the language. I've chosen Chinese, and then I choose what I want to hear. If I'm speaking to a man, then I probably want to hear a male voice. If I'm, if I'm speaking to a woman, then I probably want to hear a feminine voice so that I don't get confused. And then I also have the option to mute or unmute the other person's actual voice as they speak. So that is all set up, okay, for me and for the person I intend to talk to who speaks 
Chinese. Now, obviously, I can just tap on language and change to any other language I want. Now, you don't have to do this all the time you intend to speak to someone who doesn't speak your language. You can come to languages and voice presets for each person. And when you tap on that, you can actually go ahead and set up uh, language presets for a specific user. So let me, for instance, come to a contact like this one. Now, I know this contact that I've chosen speaks fluent German. OK, so all I have to do is select German for that contact and then I'll tap OK. OK, so for me, it's going to remain English. And for this other contact, it's going to remain in German. And since I know this is a woman, I want to uh, put the feminine voice. OK, and then I'll go back. Wait for myself. I'll just keep this male voice. So that's the language preset for that particular contact. And you can do that for all the contacts who don't speak your language and have these uh, presets ready to go. Anytime you want to uh, talk to someone, you don't have to go to the settings and start uh, making these settings. You can preset them in advance. And that's it. That's basically how to set up the live translate feature on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Now, I've hadn't, I haven't found someone who speaks uh, a different language from the one I speak yet. But as soon as I find them, I'll be able to test this out and I'll record that for a video. So make sure you subscribe not to miss that one. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck.